Hello there viewers, I'm Cliff Clayhar and welcome to Questions With Your Ex. See here on Questions With Your Ex, it's pretty simple. Today we have two of the biggest historical figures in the world. We have Miss Cleopatra and Mr. Julius Caesar. So, here's the rules of the game. Cleopatra and Julius here. Oh, Juju B. <laughs> We're gonna, they're gonna ask each other some um, questions. And here's the key to the game. You cannot not answer a question. You, you have to answer them. That's pretty much what I'm saying. So, Cleopatra's gonna ask him a question, because ladies first. And he's just gonna have to answer it. And they'll just go back and forth. So, are y'all ready to start? Ready as I'll ever be. How about you, Julius? I'm always ready. All right, this guy's kind of a backstabber. <laughs> Let's play. What was your favorite thing about me? There were many things about you, but the thing that stood out the most was your wit. Your wit, your charm, your intelligence. But those days are over now. Yeah, so. Don't you forget it, buddy. What was my best feature? You're always a really good storyteller. Do you remember when you told me about the time you got kidnapped from the pirates or whatever? Yeah. Why they didn't keep you, I have absolutely no idea. Because but I scared them. You scared them? Yeah. yeah. Was that even true? Yeah. <laughs> it was? What happened? I went, I escaped, and I came back and I killed them. Okay, so now this one's a dare. Okay. Um, this says that you have to eat one bite of a sandwich of anything that I put in. So I can do anything I want to. Let's do this. Get some bread. Lord knows we need some bread. He's a dog on a skinny. Bless his little heart. His wife must not be feeding him very well. This is why they should have let you stay in room. Oh, well. I don't know if I got a plate. I can use this. It'll be alright. He's Roman. They don't eat on plates anyway. Alright. To the kitchen. Let's see. What we got? There's some jelly. Cause that's, you know, that's kind of traditional. Jelly. I think he may be allergic to cheese. So let's just do it for kids. Some cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do some mustard too. This is a good marinade, <laughs> whether you know it or not. That's what the Egyptians use. We created barbecue sauce. That's not true, don't believe that. Let's see, what are we gonna use for me? I got some leftover fish that uh, that uh, Marcus done caught for me yesterday. <laughs> he did a good job. All right, I'm gonna do some fish. You think we should put a hush bucket on here? He ain't worthy. <laughs> he ain't worthy. Let's see. We gotta find one more good thing. Let's see. Hmm. Tuna fish. Let's get to work. <laughs> you know, I don't know why he broke up with me. I feel like I'm the best thing that ever happened to him anyway. So, he done lost his freaking mind. I used to cook for him. I don't cook for nobody. <laughs> you could probably see why though. <laughs> I gotta grab a spoon. Probably two. Marcus' sister gonna be mad at me because I used her barbecue sauce. Don't tell her. <laughs> I think she'll be okay, but you never know. She kind of crazy. Some cheese, a little bit of fish, a little <laughs> but, uh, wait, let's not do the mustard first. I don't want the mustard to get in the jelly. The jelly is some good stuff. I don't need nobody yelling at me. This is my cousin's jelly, so. Sharkwisha, I hope you're not mad. <laughs> Cause I'm real sorry, but this is serious. Oh yeah, and a little bit of tuna fish. 
you know, since he uh he lived with the pirates, I'm sure he got real used to fish. So <laughs> I'm gonna give him some a little bit of taste of his own medicine. Let's see. All right. Here comes Sharkwish. <laughs> Sharkwish, I had to use your barbecue sauce. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll tell Marcus to buy you some more, okay? <laughs> well, I apologize. Well, I'm over the back. Just act like you didn't see nothing. All right. Let's go give him his sandwich. You want to stop right there? <laughs> Julius, <laughs> time for dinner. <laughs> it's just like the old days when I used to cook for you. <laughs> he's not amused. <laughs> Look at the face he's giving me. He ain't never had a sense of humor. This is not a game, Cleveland. <laughs> Actually, it is. I figured you <laughs> I figured you hadn't had fish in a while. <laughs> I would help you out. You never were a good cook. <laughs> so I'm accustomed to eating your trash. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> Alright, and we're back with questions with your ex. So, our last host um, got a major sandwich that uh, Mr. Julius had to eat. Well, our host got sick from it. The tuna didn't set well. But, we're going to go with another round of questions. And here we go. Another question. Did you enjoy living in Rome? Yeah, it wasn't bad. Um, it's a little hard with people staring at me because I was your mistress. But, you know, that's your fault because you wouldn't marry me. But You weren't worthy. No, you just were, like, stupid. <laughs> you wanted to keep your wife. What'd you you couldn't cook, Cleopatra. Your wife couldn't cook. That's why you had servants. Julius. This isn't about and my And what wives. kind of name is Julius, anyway? This isn't about my name, either. Huh? You almost killed me with that sandwich. You deserved it. Just ask your next question. Okay. Does your mom still ask about me? <clears throat> My mom never asked about you because she what? hated you. Little did you know, she thought that I was too good for you. I don't know why. You can ask her about it. Well, she died, so I can't do that anymore. You see, that type of stuff right there is why she didn't like you. How old were you when she died? Why are you bringing up old wounds? Huh? Why are you bringing up old wounds? I'm trying to hurt you the way you hurt me. Just ask your next question, Julius. I got a dare for you. Oh, great. Cleopatra. You're gonna get on your legs, on your hands. Well, that would be on It'd be hard to get on my legs. <laughs> now I have a dare for you, Cleopatra. All right, hit me. You're gonna get down there like a dog. I'm not a dog. And you're gonna We don't bark. like dogs. I'm an Egyptian. So, I only do cats. <laughs> you're gonna get down there like a dog and you're gonna bark. <laughs> that is the most degrading thing I've ever heard in my life. You it's could at least compare me to a cat. Cats are better than dogs. It's appropriate. It's appropriate. Yeah. Well, it's not very nice. <laughs> Mad woman. <laughs> you disgust me. You belong on that girl. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm just. I'm blown away. I have never in my life met a couple that is just so emotionally discombobulated, just emotionally just chaotic as this couple.
But we do have a few more questions that they want to ask each other. Let's hope and pray that everybody makes it out alive. Question. Don't you ever tell me what to do again. What was your favorite? I don't really care about this, but this is what the card says. What was your favorite memory of me? It's a hard one. There's not many things I really enjoyed about you. Let's see. I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of might have used you to get to my throne, which I think you know that. Yeah. I think you're pretty aware of that. But we really did do good when we became allies, and we overthrew my brothers. That was cool. Mostly because I got my throne. I really didn't need anything. We had a kid though. By the way, your kid's doing great. Thanks for the child support. We had three kids. You don't even know how many we had. I only like one of them. You know what? This conversation's not going to go anywhere. Let's just move on. Lord knows we've had it enough times. Okay. <clears throat> so this is a dare. You have to put shaving cream on your eyebrows and keep it there for the rest of the game. <laughs> it's not a problem. Good buddy. Take your hat off. <coughs> No problem. Can I help you? Don't you touch me. <laughs> Will you like your shirt with? <laughs> problem is, I can't see my eyebrows. Sounds like a personal problem. Is that sufficient for you, Cleopatra? You're like a black Santa Claus. <laughs> Get the man a napkin. <laughs> he needs one. This is trash. <laughs> Thank you, Sardisha. You can't wipe it off just for your hands. Okay. You want me to ask a question while we're just sitting here? No. Are you wasting time? Because you just act, asked me a dare. All right, we'll go for it. Okay. You know I'm a control freak. <laughs> Let's see. Well, this last card that I possess is actually another dare. Oh, my goodness. And this dare says that you have to let me use your makeup that you're so well known for wearing to draw whatever I want on your face. Do I have to do that? Do you know how expensive that stuff is? Listen, you have to do it. Stop talking to the camera. Focus. Go get the makeup. Get the makeup, Cleopatra. If he breaks my lipstick, I'm gonna break his face. <laughs> Do this. You have to make it look a lot better. Nope. You're gonna thank me after this. Yeah, it says you shaving crazy things. Thank you after this. How, uh, how to... Hey, you need a little bit more shaving cream. Yours is coming off. We're supposed to keep it for the rest of the game. Yeah. I always dislike when you touch me. Okay. Here, I gotta get this off. Listen. Come here. We did this to yourself. What am I supposed <clears> to do with this? Enjoy. Here. Just enjoy this process. Oh my gosh. Do you know? Have you heard of Jesus Christ the Nazarene? <sighs> no. Well, He's some man, right? I drew a cross on your face. Can you get this off of me? <laughs> Let's focus on the game. Hmm, let's see, what is this? Looks interesting. You should know, you wear it all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. This can highlight your eyebrows. That's what you use this for? Gives you a nice little contrast of colors, white on black. What do you mean? I'm not white, I'm tan. What is happening? <laughs> Making you look better. Then to cap all of this off. That's all you got? Got some good lipstick. Not even any foundation? 
This is gonna blush. What is happening? You know what that's for? You can at least make it even on each side. All right. You're not very good at this. Go ahead and smile for the camera. Can I see what this looks like? You got a mirror? No, we don't have one. Listen, the producers are not going to help you. Producer, can I see your phone, please? <sighs> what did you do? <laughs> you should have saw what you look like before. You... Is this a flower? <laughs> it's not very good. It's not a flower. I look like a unibrow. A unibrow. I know you're prone to them. Not me. I know what tweezers are. I've never had a unibrow. Flies. Okay, but I think we're done here. Um, yeah. This is a complete white. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, we're not getting back together, and he is a jerk. So, thank you guys for your time. See you later. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, me and Cam had a lot of fun being able to look up different facts about Cleopatra and Julius Caesar and seeing their relationship and how they interacted with one another. Um, I do want you to know that I hope you enjoyed the video, but I also wanted to just point out a few facts that Cleopatra and uh, Julius Caesar actually never broke up, but when Caesar's, when Caesar passed away, when he was killed, uh, Cleopatra fled back to Egypt and then she married Mark Anthony and had three kids with him. So um, just to clarify, they never broke up. But uh, the history behind the two of them was actually very interesting. So we hope you enjoyed the video. And you have a great week, Professor. Goodbye.